Well, we, we put the guys in a situation today, we call it the Leadership Challenge. And uh, we wanted to put guys in situations to experience something maybe they haven't done before. And we put together a three mile course around campus and there were nine different tasks or challenges they had to accomplish. We had two teams, we assigned some co-captains on those teams, and then they had to lead each other through those tasks, uh, accumulating things uh, throughout the course of the morning. We're gonna put you guys into two teams. Each team is gonna have two co-captains. First thing, okay, the team must follow the course you run today, either by following the cones or the coaches that are outside. Secondly, your team must have a 35 pound plate with you at all times. We have a 35 pound plate out there. You've got to figure out how to keep that with your team wherever you are on campus today. We were going to use agility. We were going to use strength. We were going to use some tools outside the box to see who was going to be the most successful team. Because we have athletes that are very explosive. We have athletes that are in great shape. But the bottom line is you have to work together as a unit to accomplish a task. We had guys get into the gym about 5.30 this morning. Uh, went over a set of rules with the different uh, groups in the gymnasium. A little whistle and got after it. You know, the guys sprinted out into the parking lot and the first event or first challenge they had, each six to seven man team had to do 40 tire flips. Tires we have on campus weigh about 450 pounds each. They then had to sprint to the track about a half a mile run out to our outdoor track. Each team had to do a flexed arm bar hang and then a buddy carry or a wounded soldier quarter mile around the track. That was the toughest thing. It took a toll on the lower legs and we was running the whole time so that was definitely the toughest for me. They had another about a half a mile run up through campus around the ice rink, around the East Way. When they arrived at one of our sand volleyball courts, they had to army crawl or on their bellies underneath a series of PVC pipes and things that we had set up throughout the course. Once the team got to the end, the team then had to crab walk on all fours back to the starting point. Once they completed that task, uh, the next point was another half a mile away. And this is where you started to see guys get frustrated. They started to get tired. Uh, they were starting to wear down. And uh, that was the goal. The goal was to tire them out to see who was gonna continue to work as a team as they got through the, the different courses.